All right, guys, I'm wearing my sketchy hat today because we're going to talk about something super sketchy. One of my cousins introduced me to this random company out of nowhere. I did only 20 minutes of research and found that this is probably the most sketchy company that's public that I've ever learned about. That doesn't mean it's a bad investment, though. So if this is the type of content you've been looking for, please hit the like button and let's get started. All right, guys, so there's a company out there called Remark Holdings. It's a public company with the ticker symbol Mark, M-A-R-K. And if you look at their Yahoo Finance bio, they do entertainment, they do travel, they do data intelligence, and then they do technology. So to sum it up, they do whatever the fuck they want. And if you look a little deeper, they own Bikini.com, they own FileLater.com, they own companies headquartered in SF, headquartered in some other part of California I've never heard of. They're headquartered in Las Vegas, and then they also headquartered in Beijing. So it's a bunch of random ass companies all stuck together being traded on their mark. Just at a first glance, this company is clearly run by my people. Their data analytics software is called KanKan, which is a Chinese slang for take a look. And they have a ton of LLCs located in Beijing, which is the capital of China. What I find most amusing about this company is that as a business entity, it's been around since the 2000s, the early, early 2000s, when the stock was worth $176. And the stock tanked since then, obviously, to around the $2 range. What's most funny to me is the fact that it consistently makes eight-digit revenue. These writings on the wall tells me that either it's a holdings company for some rich guy's pet projects, or it is a tool for some rich guy's tax deduction. I think it's the latter. That being said, it doesn't mean they're doing anything illegal. It doesn't even mean they're not innovating. It just means that the guy owning this company knows how the tax system works and is doing it. Now, the reason why this company suddenly became interesting is because somebody leaked out a document between this Remark Holdings company and the Wynn Las Vegas Casino talking about a potential partnership in a thermal imaging project for the casinos. The idea is that you use thermal imaging to figure out if someone has a fever or not, and in turn, you kind of get a rough estimate to see whether the person uh, has COVID or not, right? Because having a fever is one of the symptoms. Obviously, it's not the whole shebang because people are asymptomatic as well. Uh, they may have other symptoms that this thermal imaging cannot detect, but it's the direction that they want to head towards as a precautionary measure, right? It's understandable. I need to highlight the fact that this is not a real investment. There is no good fundamentals here. The company is not doing anything original. They're innovating, but they're copying. They're innovating by copying other people. They're basically trying to fill market gaps with good domain names, with technology that already exists, but is missing in a particular place, uh, trying to be there at the right place at the right time. You know, all of these things are good business practices. There's nothing wrong with that, right? But it is not the type of company I would invest in based on a product perspective and also based on their financials. I'm frankly not particularly comfortable either. That being said, there is nothing wrong with turning a pair of twos into four of a kind if you have proper bankroll management. So how I will play this, if I were to play this, is I will put in maybe 1% of my bankroll in there. Probably less than 1%, depending on how much. If your 1% is $1,000, I will throw it in there. Because there is a little bit of a chance that your $1,000 might become $10,000. The mass hysteria effect of COVID-related improvements is already there. You see pharma companies who are basically doing testing and trying to create a vaccine. As soon as they show any signs of the positive direction, those stocks grow in a, uh, in a ridiculous way. All of those pharma companies racing to create a vaccine because there's a shit ton of money behind it, all of them are putting out little tidbits of news, positive news, you know, give the investors a little something to nibble on. And as soon as it is positive, just nowhere even near having the vaccine, but just a little bit of positive news towards the right direction, that makes a stock shoot up. 
So this might be one of those opportunities, you know, because this actually has a legitimate business deal behind it if the win casino chooses to sign them. But as a long-term play, no way. As a short-term play, I wouldn't even bet this for more than a month because, you know, once COVID is over, I'm not really sure if this technology is worthwhile. Casinos might adopt this technology because, you know, it might be good to not let sick people into the casino regardless of whether it's COVID or something else. But the price has to be right. Anyway, if you put money into this company, you'll have better odds of making money than the lottery. But it'll have worse odds than any real investment. So that being said, you know, if you like a little bit of speculation in your life, a little bit of thrill, a little bit of gambling, this this would be it. This would be one of those companies. All right, guys, if you choose to invest in this company, then I wish you the best of luck. Otherwise, I hope you found this content at least entertaining. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns or just general thoughts about content like this. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.